Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. So I'm working through my list of viewer requested videos and the next one on the list I've been trying to evade for a long time is Cap, can you do a video about what the different cockpit noises mean in terms of staying alive in combat? So as ever, we need to break that uh, request down and see what we actually mean. So noises in the cockpit. There are lots of, well, the first thing to say is there are lots of different cockpits. There are, what, 40 cockpits we've got now, and they are all different. Uh, actually, not actually true. Some of them are the same, but most of them are different. So this is going to be a fairly big video. Next thing to say is those cockpits make lots of noise. And those different noises are for different things. Now, I'm going to assume that you guys mean tactical noises, i.e. how to evade radars and how to avoid evade missiles and guns. So regards to tactical combat only. I don't think you guys are asking for the whole list of sounds that the vehicle will make when things go wrong, in, like you lose pressure in an aileron or your gears are stuck. I think you just mean the combat tactical combat based sounds. So that's what we're going to look at today. And in all of those aircraft that have tactical combat sounds, those sounds will come out of something called an RWR, a radar warning receiver that is fitted in that aircraft. So we could say only the aircraft that have a radar warning receiver will give these tactical combat sounds. And there's a couple of caveats to this. The A10C has another separate system that adds additional sounds that we'll look at. The Mirage has additional systems that will give us extra sounds. The KF50 has a laser detecting system. So there's a little, there's a few caveats in there. But generally speaking, what we're going to look at today is aircraft that have an RWR, radar warning receiver, and what that is going to tell us in terms of audio warnings. And on the end of this question from one of you guys was, what do these sounds mean? And what and what do and how do we utilize them to dodge missiles and stay alive? So that's a big question that needs answering. Now the first thing to note is that I've actually answered all of these questions already. So the proper way, the proper answer for me is to show you that I've already answered these in, in several videos and I will point you towards them. And then after I've done that, uh, I'm going to do what I think you guys want, which is just like a dummy's guide, like a 30 seconds on each aircraft, just to show very quickly what the different sounds mean. So first I'll do it properly and then we'll go and do the dummies guide. So we're going to go bring up a browser of any kind. We're going to type in grimreapers.net. That is our hub. We're going to go to tutorials. We're going to look down here. Here is all the different aircraft and I've done full tutorials on every single feature of every aircraft. Um, it's taken many years but it's all done. You just click on one of the aeroplanes that you like in the look of here and it will go through to the playlist here and tell you everything that you need to know. So first of all, why don't we just blast down this list and see which aircraft have the RWR. A4 Skyhawk, yes, I'm pretty sure it does. A10A, yes. A10C, yes. Vigan, yes. AV8B, yes. BF109, no. C101, no. Christian Eagle, no. Combined Arms, relevant. F14B, yes, and has the addition of Jester as well. F15C, yes. F18C, yes. F5E, yes. F86 Sabre, no. Well, not really. Focke-Wulf 190, two of them, no. Gazelle, yes. General, relevant. Ishak, no. KF-50, no. Not in the sense it does not have a RAID RWR. It does have a different warning system. L-39, no. HIP, no. MiG-15, no. MiG-19, no. MiG-21, yes. Mirage 2000, yes. Irrelevant, no. No, yes, yes. Irrelevant now, no, no. And what we can do is just pick on any of these guys at random. Um, we're going to pick on Harrier, looks spicy. I'm going to do that, bring Harrier up. And under that particular aircraft, if it has an RWR, then I will have done an RWR tutorial on it. So I'm going to do a search because I've done millions of these videos. So I've searched in the Harrier and we've got Harrier RWR and countermeasures. And you'll go in and watch that video and I'll tell you all exactly what all of the sounds are for that RWR. So that is answering your question. If you want a Harrier and you want to know what the sound combat sounds are, Go into that video and it'll tell you what all of the different beeps mean and what you should do. And just to show I'm not cheating, we'll just go and pick another one. Vigum, Warthog, uh, um, uh, Tiger. It's pretty different, isn't it? Open new. Uh, just going to search. RWR. And there it is. Cold start RWR. And there'll probably be a better one somewhere. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got one just about the RWR radar warning receiver. We'll go through all the beeps, all the buttons and tell you exactly what it's all about. Okay. Uh, the only one I haven't done is the F-18C. I made an agreement with ED not to do that until it's finished and it's not yet finished on the F-18 
see. And the next bit of the question is, well, I get those warnings. I now know what they mean. I now know a missile is coming towards me. I know now a radar has locked onto me. I know now a radar is painting me. Uh, it was, how do I take action? to avoid being shot. Well, that's covered up here. Air to air combat, air to ground combat. Everything you could need is included in these guys here. Some of them are quite big, big videos, but these are big questions that need answering. Just, I'm just gonna pick out some examples here, look. Evading short range IR, IR missiles. Tells you everything you know about, about needing to avoid any type of, evade any type of uh, IR missiles. Evading lethal range radar, so relatively close range radar guided missiles. Evading AIM-54 long range missiles. I'm not going to go through it all, but there's other stuff I imagine that's going to be useful down here. And then, uh, so that's if air targets are shooting at you. And then we've got another one here. Air to ground combat. We have a whole bunch of them. How to beat radar guided SAM. So if a radar SAM is fired at you, how to beat radar SAMs more realistically. How to shoot down SAMs. That's not particularly relevant. Uh, how to beat IR guided SAMs. How to beat optical sack loss type SAMs. How to beat guide, radar guided AAA. How to beat the different types of SAMs in helicopters. There's literally just about every combination that you could need to know is in these two playlists. So when it comes to actually dodging the missiles, dodging the radars and whatnot, it's all there done for you. Okay, so I've explained now how you can find out what any of the beeping noises mean in any of the aircraft that make the combat beeping noises and what you need to do to take action against those noises. Now, as promised, I'm going to do my little kind of dummies guide. I'll just go through every aircraft that makes combat noises. Uh, spent, uh, you know, a minute, two minutes on each. If you can't be bothered to watch through them all, then look uh, at the bottom in, as ever, in the description of this video, there will be links to all of the aircraft. That's important. And the same with all of my videos. If you just look in the description, you'll see a link to whichever part you like. Okay, we're in game now. We're gonna to go to blue side. First thing we're gonna do is an F-15. Now the F-15 also covers the A-10A. In DCS, they have the same RWR system. Whether that's true in real life, I don't know, but it is in DCS, so let's go in here. The RWR out of interest on this aircraft is this guy here. It's turned on automatically. Let's quickly have a look at the map just so you can see what we're gonna do. We're gonna to fly towards the SAM site. The SAM site will first paint us. It will then track us. It will then fire a missile at us. Then the next thing that's going to happen is uh, when we get there, the SAM will disappear and a hostile aircraft will spawn. It will paint us, then it will track us, then it will fire a missile at us. So in terms of combat sounds in these aircraft, we will only have combat sounds relating to radar-based hostiles. So radar-based SAM launchers, radar-based air targets. We will not have warning with the exception of the Mirage and the A-10C of any IR-guided missiles or optical, sack loss, or other types of guided missiles. So the vast majority are just going to be radar-based systems that we can get our warnings about. So the things we're gonna listen for are when a new radar source has been spotted on our RWR, we will get a beep type sound on this F-15, as you will see. So let's get that done. First thing it's gonna do is that SA-6, uh, Sam is gonna turn its radar on. So beep, beep, beep. That is showing that we've got a new radar source on our RWR here. And remember, that could be hostile or friendly. There is no way for an RWR to distinguish between hostile and friendly. I'm not going to go into the RWR fully because, like I said, I've got full videos on that. So that was the beep. The next thing we're going to look for in the F-15 and A-10A is the chirp. The chirp is a sign that a radar is painting our aircraft. So that means that a radar is searching and can see us with its search. It will be a chirp, and we will get one of those chirps every time the B sweep, the radiation sweep of that search radar passes over our aircraft about once every two seconds, or 0.5 hertz. So let's listen to the search chirp. Hear that? And again. And again. That is a chirp in an F-15C. Now, in some of these aeroplanes that we'll show today, the chirp, in terms of its audio pitch, what it sounds like will be linked to the PRF, the actual frequency that the emitting radar that we are detecting is using. So for instance, if we go in certain aircraft, that chirp will sound different if a ground station is painting us with its radar to if an air target is painting its with its radar. And that is because ground-based uh, radars usually use a different PRF, post repetition, repetition frequency in their search and in their track to airborne radars which use a lot higher frequency generally some aircraft will, will show the difference some won't so it's just something to bear in mind and i'll try and point it out where i see it so we're going to carry on the next thing that will happen is this guy will no longer search or paint me he will lock me or track me so at this point the action to be done is nothing just be aware that something 
this guy in this case is going to be painting us something can see us on its radar so no if action is to be taken okay now that is a track or a lock he's now tracking us and what that actually means is his beast his radiation b scan instead of scanning a whole 360 degrees and actually hitting us once every two seconds is now just scanning over this little bit of sky where it knows we are and it's hitting us about 10 to 20 times per second or 10 to 20 hertz it's the same the actual chirp is the same sound but the frequency of those chirps is just much higher so it's now chirp 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 chirp, chirp like that that means a radar is tracking us and all radar based systems need to be tracking us for them to fire at us so what we can say now is we are now in danger that something can now or is likely to now fire at us so the action you'll take at this point is based on your roe and based on your mission if you are ground attack, not assigned attack radar systems, then you are going to turn away because this is just not a place you want to be. If you're a fighter like this and you're going in to attack these radar systems, airborne or ground, then this is just part of your job. You will not do anything. You will just be aware that you are being locked and that at some point a missile could be fired on you. In reality, there are more factors to worry about, but just breaking it down into my dummies guide, that's how I describe it now. So the next thing that happens is it's going to be a launch warning. That guy is going to fire a missile onto me which is tracking me and we'll get a launch warning from the radar. There we go. And we can see there's the missile, here it comes. We'll sound again in a second. I want sound again. So every five seconds or so it gives that wah 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 in this and the ATNC that means a radar guided missile has launched us. So this RWI system can tell when that missile has been launched. It does that by detecting the extra transmissions that the SAM system has to send to its own missile to guide the missile. So now it's time to dodge. Unless you specifically know that that SAM there, although that, that missile there is not going for us, and that is possible. It is possible that that SAM there could be shooting at my friend over there, and we are getting the warning. That's called oversplash. That's what we call radar oversplash. It means that we are detecting that launch, even though that launch is not actually for us. And the way you would detect that is usually, if you zoom in like this, if it was for a left guy over here, you could see that missile start to arc round to the left. At that point, you know it's for someone over there, it's not for us. If it's for us, it's going to come straight towards us like thus. So at this point, we have to dodge, and I'm not going to show you how to do that now, because dodging is very complicated. It depends on our speed, our altitude, a whole bunch of other environmental parameters. And like I said, I've done a whole hour long video about that. So go and watch that if you want to learn how to dodge properly. Okay, uh, we're just going to get hit by that. What we're going to do now is um, change it to an airborne radar source that we're going to be detecting. So what's going to happen now is that when I get close enough to that SAM, it's going to disappear and a uh, aeroplane should come into its place. Let's just see if that actually happens. Speed that up. There we go. Swap for an aeroplane. So we've now got an F-15 charging at us. And it's going to do the same things. It's going to search when it's got its radar on, then it's going to track, then it's going to fire. And those are the only things we have to worry about. So that you hear the search now. In terms of the actual kind of frequency of the noise, it sounds exactly the same as the... Um, Sam to me, the only thing I'd say is it's scanning over us uh, quicker, about one and a half seconds rather than every two seconds. And now we've got the track, so this means that he can fire at me anytime. So we have to be alert stations now. As I'm going to go fight him, then I'm going to carry on regardless of the track. Now we've got the launch, so he's physically fired a missile at us. You can see the missile there. And that's the end of the tutorial for this. At that point, he's fired the missile, and you can hear that warp, 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 which will go off every five seconds or so. So that showed it sounds exactly the same as if a ground-based radar-guided system had fired at us. Again, now, for what action to take, rather than just bodging something together, uh, go and read the proper tutorials in the air-to-air -air combat list, please, that I showed you. Only caveat to that is if he'd fired a FOX-3 type missile for me and it was in a track while scan method, then I would not get the launch warning until that missile went put ball, until it turned its own radar on, which will be about six or seven miles away from me. And it would then, in this particular type of RWR shop, as an M missile instead of, of a 1.5. Again, this is all covered properly in the RWR tutorial, so we won't go any further into that now. That's answered the question for this. We'll go through the other planes now. We won't be comprehensive like we've done here we'll just show the noises and that's all you need to see okay we're now in an su-25 now this has the same rwr which is this guy down here as uh, the su-33 the mig-29a the mig-29s the mig-29g 
the SU-25 and the SU-25T and the J-11. So all those planes are going to be identical in terms of RWR, in terms of combat warning. So off we go. The first thing you can hear is the painting. That is someone searching slash painting for me. Again, you want a full description of what this all means? I've got a video of that in the relevant section. That is the track. The guy is now tracking us. This means, again, he can fire at us, and he may be firing at us very shortly. That beeping sound in one of these aircraft means the missile has been fired. There is the missile. Okay, we'll fast forward now and uh, get to the aeroplane to make sure it's no different. I'm sure it won't be. Okay, the sound will have disappeared now. I can tell by my RWR, it's now an air target by that code at the bottom there. So got the, you can hear the painting, you can hear we're being searched, we're being painted by a search radar from the... Now we're being tracked by the F-15. Okay, now we've been fired out, and you can see the missile there. And that's it. Again, at this point, follow the other tutorials to know exactly what to do. Right, that's those planes, let's go to the next. Next is the ADS-37 Vigan. Now this one's a little more interesting. Um, this, because of its lack of kind of visual display, it gives us the tone of the search or the tone of the track actually presents itself to us in audio format based on the actual PRF output of the radar in question. So what we'll see in this aircraft is that the sound that gets made by the RWR in this aircraft is different for a ground-based SAM and an air-based SAM. And so memorize that. that is a painting by a hostile brain ground station or search sponsored every two to three seconds you can turn the sound off here if you like by the way so we're going to keep on going now until it turns into a track it'll be obvious when it turns into a track and that is a track there so that means and you can tell by the amount of beeps per second again 10 beeps per second or whatever it is that is now tracking us so we can now fire at us uh, this aircraft will not however tell us when the missile has been fired it'll tell us when they're searching it'll tell us when they're tracking or you could say painting and locking but it will not tell you tell us when a radar guided missile is fired so what we should see is a missile come up and no change in our rwr so you see that the missile's been fired out of us, uh, been fired, but no change in the RWR warning. Okay, so that's the big one. Now we're going to shut down the SAM and we're going to engage the uh, air radar, the airborne radar, and listen to the difference, if you can remember the difference. If you remember how the, the uh, ground-based SAM sounded. Come on, disappear, son. Okay, the F-15's up now. Now listen to the actual frequency of the sound, and you'll see that it's slightly different. It'll be higher. There we go. You hear the difference? It's completely different. And that is a missile being fired at us. So we actually had a track on us there. And he's fired the missile, which is coming out now. And we've got no difference. The only thing we didn't hear is the um, the search, the uh, the painting from him. He, he basically, as soon as he started searching me, he uh, I think he started tracking us. So that's a little bit annoying, but I can't do much about that. But it is just the same kind of sound as we got there with the track, but with more a, a lesser hertz, if you like, less times per second. Okay, I got nothing else to show on the Vigan. Let's go to the next plane. Maybe a big. Oh, this is a loud one, isn't it? Coffee, coffee. Okay, just going to make sure our WR is on. Is going to whack that volume up. That was the beep sound of uh, a new item, a new radar being displayed on the RWR. That is the guy locking us. So he's actually started locking us from all the way out here. Uh, from memory, I don't think there is a search tone in this. It's only when he locks us in the Harrier. You can see out of interest, he's moving, moved into the inner threat ring on here because uh, he can now fire a missile at us. So from this track, he can fire his missile when we're in range and that will happen and we'll get a new tone then. He's fired. And that is the tone in the Harrier that we've been fired upon by a radar guided missile. And then again, we refer to the other videos for the actual evasion. So again, there's no tone in here telling us that we've been painted or been searched. The first time in terms of tone that we'll see, is when he tracks us and he's currently in the outside ring so it's only searching 
Again, full video of this RWR in the Harrier section. So we're going to get closer. Okay, he's now tracking us. And he's into the inner threat ring, or very close to it. Okay, a missile has been fired. That was our missile warning tone. It's an uh, AIM-7 loft up by the looks of it. And that's it. That's uh, the Harrier. Okay, we've got the Tomcat next. And this one's a little more complicated because we've got the RWR there, but we've also got the guy in the rear that talks to us. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the guy off. I've got some dirt, 12 o'clock. So we can't talk. You don't need to be. Uh, you don't need, need to be to explain what Jester's saying. Okay. So uh, we have skipped a little bit there. So the first was the boop sound. That means that there is a new threat on the RWR, and that is the SA6. And as soon as we got uh, detected that threat, pretty much it started to track us. So we're about to hear the track or lock warning, which is that. Then we've got a launch warning. Nothing else to show there. Again, if you want to know what all this stuff actually means, go and watch the uh, F-14 RWR tutorial. Shut that SAM down. Okay, F-15. So in this aircraft, there's no warning for search. There's no chirp for search. The first we hear about it is when, is there when, when it gets a track on us. So that's the track from the F-15. Boom. And there's a launch warning again. And there's our missile. F5 next. So a little more complicated in this aircraft. We're going to go to search there. We're going to pick up search of the SA6 when it appears. There it is. So you hear that beep, beep. That is the new threat on the RWR. It's currently searching and we do not get any chirps or any warning of the search audibly. It's purely visual. So the next thing we're going to do is take search off and when it tracks us, we'll hear the uh, indication that we are being tracked. And we can see that we're now being tracked. Interestingly, it doesn't actually give you an audio warning that you're being tracked. So we'll only get an audio warning then uh, when we get fired at. It's a long time since I've flown this boat. So no audio warnings to track or search, only being fired at. That's something to bear in mind. Again, for full description of how all of this stuff works, please see the video in the F5 section. You hear that sound? Bip, 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 bip. That means there's a launch warning and there is the missile that's launched at us. That's it. That's all there is to show in the F5. Just the one tone, just the one tone for being launched. And we'll show the F-15 because why not? There's the missile, and we should get a warning in a second. You hear that? That's the warning. Um, and that's it. Out of interest, there are knobs in these jets to turn up the sound of that warning. I uh, can't remember where this particular jet is. I'm not going to start going through that, but just bear in mind it is a thing. Okay, so that's the F-5, just the one combat sound, or the two if you include the, the new... Um, contact going on to the RWR. Next is the Hornet. I don't get to fly this much, so I can't actually remember how this one works, so we'll just see as we go. Electronic warfare on, turning on the HUD. Right, so you hear that beep, that was the RWR putting the new contact on. It's searching for us, but we've got no sound of the search, so no sound for the search in this aircraft. We'll now wait till the track. That is the track, so this guy, hostile is now tracking us. You can see he's moving in, in terms of threat rings. Now we're gonna wait for the launch. And that is the launch warning. Uh, forgive me that it's so quiet. I can't remember how to turn up the sound of it, but hopefully you can hear it in the background. If anyone does know how to turn that sound up, the RWR, that would be appreciated, by the way. Because uh, I always struggle to hear it in combat. It's one of these knobs, I just I can't remember what it is. Okay, uh, that's that. We'll just go and repeat it with the F-15 now, just to double check. Okay, F-15, no warning for the painting, for the searching. There we've got the track, you can hear the track just about. And there's the launch. Hopefully you can just about hear that over the engines. Okay, Mirage 2000. Okay, I haven't been in this for a while as well. Uh, I've got to relearn this. Uh, I've got something coming up with the Mirage and I've got to relearn it, so I will do so. Right, you hear that little chirp? That was the new contact, the SA6 in this case. There is no sound, there is no chirp of them uh, searching, painting. Let's wait for a track. You can hear that. He's now tracking us, and that is the sound of a track. And that is the sound of the radar missile launch. And again, no sound for the search, apart from the beep or the chirp of the new contact on the RWR.
There is the track. And there is the launch. MiG-21. I can't actually remember doing the video for this RWR. I mean, maybe I haven't done it yet. And I can't remember reading about the RWR, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. Let's just see what we get, shall we? So you can hear a beep, so it's telling us the search. That's the search. And we can tell that it's well, essentially in front of us, but that's about it. Now, I can't remember what these coloured lights mean, whether that's ground and that's air. We'll just find out as we go. So that's the search. That's the track. Okay, we've now just got the launch. There, there is no difference in sound from the track to the launch, so it can't identify when the extra signals are being sent to that missile. Okay, so with the MiG-21, you get a search warning and a track warning, and that's it. Okay, we've now got the FD. I assume we have, there it is. And we're just getting this one warning here for the search about once every second. Let's go, and then we've got the track. That's the track, and I don't suppose we'll get a uh, missile launch warning. There's the missile launch. Doesn't seem to be any difference. I don't know if you guys can hear any difference there between the launch and the track of the MiG-21 RWR. Like I said, it's, it's the only one I think I haven't covered. I didn't personally hear any difference. Okay, we're now in the A-10C. We're going to do uh, radar SAMs first, and then we're going to go back at the end of the vid and do the A-10C or IR guided or other than radar guided sounds. So there was the first beep, that was the new contact on the RWR here. If you listen carefully, you can hear the chirp of the search, the chirp of the paint. You can hear that, it's really faint, but it is there. It's going tick, tick, like that. Um, I have no obvious way of turning up the volume. Next, we'll wait to the track. There, he's tracking us now. So that's a massive difference. Again, the chirps, instead of one every two seconds, it's one every, you know, 10 or 20 a second. And there was a launch warning. And we've got two different systems. We've got the RWR here, and the missile launch, uh, missile warning system here. There, you hear that beep? Beep, 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 beep. It does that every five ten, uh, seconds or so. Also showing the missile here which is interesting anyway that's all i want to show there that's the four sounds so far the a10c just go for the um air to air bit just to check it's not any different uh, i doubt it is i can hear a search if you can hear that chirp every two seconds gotta have a real real ear to hear that i imagine you'll track us soon there oh there's the track wait for the launch and there's the launch. Okay, hey, we're back in. And this time, we're fighting it's a man pad. Now, man pad, you'll not be surprised to hear, doesn't have a radar. So, it's got an IR on the missile, so it's not going to be detected by our RWF here per se. It will be detected by the missile warning system. Something that only this and I believe the Mirage have at the moment. So, we're going to do our best to get shot by this that? man pad. Oh, there it is, look. See, he shot there and you heard, you heard the MWS see the missile and I think it sees it by the exhaust plume, the heat signature of the missile. I think that's how the MWS works, I stand to be corrected. But it's, the important thing is it's giving you a warning that a missile is near us. Again, it can't actually tell that it's being fired at us, but at least it's Pull something. Pull up. Okay. So that and that would also work with a sack loss uh, optical type missile as well okay that's all i've got to show for now i'm aware i missed the helicopters but i know the gazelle isn't working at the moment so it needs to be fixed when that's fixed i'll go and do the helicopters the ka50 and the gazelle so to summarize we've shown that we've got the various videos done properly in youtube that you can go and check out for more information on the rwr and missile evasion and we've now got this dummies guide so you can check out any combat based warning noises that are made by the various planes i hope that helps and see you later